Hello, everyone. You're watching PokerNews.com, and welcome back to our coverage of the World Series of Poker. There were several new events added to the schedule this year, and one of the most anticipated was a tag team event. We're seeing professionals and amateurs, husbands and wives, mothers and sons, pretty much everyone take to the felt today. Have a look at some of their responses. My dad always said that it'd be fun if we both made the final table of the of any tournament together, and it's never happened, probably never will, until perhaps this event, so that would be very fortunate. I've been giving my dad some advice. He was playing with some loose, aggressive kids. I told him to three bet him with air. He's been doing it. It's been working out great. Sometimes he makes a good hand, sometimes he bluffs them. It's all worked out pretty well. I just watched him play a big pot where he had a straight flush draw and a pair, and he lost. So, he only has seven starting stacks now. So he's only in fantastic shape. I think it's a really nice event for poker players towards the end of the series. It's like a fun event where people can hang out, be more casual. I mean, we're all still extremely competitive, psycho level. But it's it's fun because it's like, and it, think about winning a bracelet with your friends. How much more important is that? And that's like so really, that's just really cool. So I think it's a fun event, especially for the main event. People get a day, like a day or a few to decompress and have fun. I, I play a lot more than people think I do. Sometimes, you know, when you're looking, you know who's got well, what. People don't know how good of a poker player you are, and that, that's, sure. that's one of my tricks, is that right. I wanted to be his partner because people don't know how good he is. And people think he's just a celebrity, and he's just a philanthropist, and, you know, that he's a businessman, and they don't understand how good of a poker player he is. So I'm watching the one person at the end of the table who was a guy who just, in three hands in a row, this guy, like, got trips, trips, got another, a two pair, and literally was taking out three people in a row, so he was on this little rush, and he was calling almost anything. So I'm sitting there with Ace Queen, no, I mean, don't no push with that. But you know what? A queen comes up, it's Jack, Queen, King on the on the flop. I'm pushing. Come on, punk. And then, when he waits just for one second, he's like, eh, eh. Jamie goes, he doesn't have it. <laughs> Needless to say, I think we will see this event not only on more WSOP schedules, but on tournaments all around the world. Thank you guys so much for tuning in to our coverage of the World Series of Poker.